Previously on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Oh, insert it. Like, oh my god, like my penis? Yeah. Exactly like your penis, Your Honor. Oh my god, it all makes sense. And now back to yelling at people. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. When we last left off, uh, we continued the trial, and what did we even do? I don't even, I don't know. It's been a while since I played this, actually. Uh,. Oh, yeah, right, we, f we, we found out that, um, uh, Emma knows more about, uh, what's going on than we thought. Also, I just kind of realized, wait, this is day three. I, this is only the second time we've had the trial, though, right? So, is this the final day of the trial, or is this, I thought, I don't know, somehow I imagine we had one more after this. I don't know. Anyway. God, we, this is a long fucking case. I, you guys are right about that. You guys are like, tell me that beforehand. Okay, favorite time. Hey, look, it's just hey, look, it's just me up there. Oh, well, now we're convened for the trial, Mr. Lyle Scott. Wow, Nico, I don't believe it. I don't believe. It. Well, what's that, Judge? I don't believe you actually remember, didn't you? You remember? You're damn right, I did. Three times in a row now, baby. I'm going on a winning streak. Yes. Oh God. Uh, your ears feel better? Oh, they feel great. They're not bleeding anymore. Yeah, just oh. <laughs> He's referring to turning his volume down, but in case anyone's like, what the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> anyway, Miss Last Sky, we're doing this shit some more. Emma didn't come back. Damn it all, Emma. I need my I need my sidekick here to support me. Whatever, just be like me and be a badass loner. Allow me to call the next witness to stand. The official in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oh. Howdy, hombre. Mm. <laughs> I like he's like. Oh, could you why are you referring from drinking alcohol at the, at the stand? He just, he, he puts a cap on, he looks at me. No. <laughs> well, okay then. Okay. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Mm. Look. <laughs> me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Oh, I know you're a patrolman! Oh! I got it! Did, did I get it? Wrong. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howl of wind calling it out. <laughs> Holy shit, do you, uh, do you even listen to yourself? The bullshit that comes out of your mouth. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, your honor. <laughs> God damn it. Can't you hear the wind calling? Oh, I can't hear it. I'm sorry, my, my hair has gone a long time ago. <laughs> Remember, I'm as old as Father Time. I'm Zeus up here! Zeus! Howdy, howdy wind. Never heard Edward describe that way before. Wait, what? Edward? I thought he said... I thought he was referring to Marshall. Ah, whatever. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You weren't in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime that the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. Oh, what do you mean? A desperado soul is as boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. Shut! Stop talking in fucking metaphors! <laughs> I've had enough of this bullshit. Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Are you sure that's the testimony of the day of the crime? In English? <laughs> God damn it. Fuck you, Judge. I do whatever the hell I want. I'm Jake Marshall. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't say whom this time. <laughs> I can't say I particularly care for your fucking dick, dickweed attitude. God damn it. I'm gonna poke you with my beard. I can't say I care for your beard. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh bring it on, bitches. Down is on now. It's on. Edward, you're no longer my arch enemy. You! You! <laughs> Finally, yes. Oh, thank God. That means he'll stop talking about my Tucker's Airwatch! No! Son of a bitch! <laughs> But you don't see me complaining. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. 
Yes, well, what about those the fingerprint activated locks inside the evidence room? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled do hickey do ding dong boodly doodly boodly blah 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 are those? <laughs> He's not being very helpful. <laughs> Be more helpful. He's not good with machines or with following orders or <laughs> or even being a real cowboy. <laughs> Everyone's got their weaknesses now, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? Oh, shut up. Well, my weakness is not my beard. This is my fucking greatest threat. Look at this. It is amazing. Look how it flows just gently across my supple, my supple pecs. <laughs> I feel like I keep getting, I keep getting weirder and weirder every episode. This one, this one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Rice, all yours. Have at it. Feel free to smack him around a bit. All right, bring it on, Edgeworth. Get my job is to keep a wary eye on the Bone Orchard. Hold it! What the fuck's a bone, or bone Orchard? <laughs> How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moved in the security room. Security camera monitor. That, that room's so still. Even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker and inter the, inter the recordings. You had heard them? Videos and nothing aren't that useful when the time would come out to erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, the tape's to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase the tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. <laughs> you are so full of shit, you know that? You're damn right I am. And that's why the ladies love me. Oh yeah. This guy's a flair for the dramatic, but it isn't gonna do him any good. So next to you don't physically enter the evidence room. They said I was supposed to make rounds two times a day, but they ain't- They ain't my style. Hold it. Hold it there, you little nugget. But you made your rounds in the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand the fuck you're talking about. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. You don't know any desperados. Don't stop acting like a cowboy. No desperados I know join the police force. Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime. The fuck were you doing? Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. Oh ho! Ooh, I've got you now. It was Robert Glove stuck in the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner. Can't say I do. Can't say I give a freaking fruity fuck. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. Who does this guy avoid being fired? Seriously. How? How? Besides the room's, uh, protect. Protected by the two security systems, anyway. Hold it there! You used to be a detective, so you used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course, back in the day, back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet you didn't know about the fingerprints lucky, lucky mechanism. Sorry, partner, I ain't, I ain't good with machines. <laughs> I'm just good at cutting my beard a million, di million different ways, and also drinking alcohol, and wearing cowboy, <laughs> wearing a cowboy outfit. And scaring people. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. That's quite, uh, wow. Really? <laughs> it, it's literally right there. It can, you just look at it. It, it tells you, it's like a, <laughs> it's like telling, saying, not, I don't know how butter works. <laughs> it's like, fucking hell, you look at it. It tells you how, from how it works right there. <laughs> the butter is there. You put the butter on the bagel. Wait a minute, why are we talking about butter? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Show your face. Show your face. <laughs> this is on the lock. Locker locker handles cannot be unseen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. And he mentions it. Did any gums you said something like that too? Oh. Anyway, anyway, it doesn't seem this is relevant to the crime. You tell us what you were doing when the crime took place. If I remember correctly, I was streets that saloon at the time with Dale. Hold it there. What were you doing in a place like that? We don't even have saloons anymore. I was eating spaghetti. And heading on your mama and Phoenix, right? Oh, snap, crackle pop. Oh, shit, it's going down again. It's going down. <laughs> ah. I was having sex with your, with your wife, too, there, Judge. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, all right, right, let's tag team this bitch. Yeah, let's do it, Judge. All right, let's do it. Let's, come on. All right, you give him out, you give him down below the knees. I'm gonna elbow drop him to the floor. <laughs> German suplex, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All of a sudden, a fucking wrestling, like a wrestling ring comes out of the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, baby! I, 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 I put this, I've stored this here just for this very fucking moment! <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh my god. <laughs> she take out all this hard work. <laughs> I'll take care of you later. <laughs> Get on with it already. Sorry. Seeing spaghetti, I'm not even angel steak lunch is gonna be that pot of fun gold. Bungalow sip your pasta. Oh, you mean to tell us? You bear your police to eat some fucking noodles? Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. Hell, hell yeah. What? <laughs> That's not what I meant. Like, I hope it's just a, at least all you a lesson. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> That's strange. This is usually this is usually where Edward says. Did you not want to raise this year? <laughs> What the hell is what the hell is Riddler doing? I'm just listening traveler, so if you had a shut the fuck up. <laughs> Objection, shut the fuck up. Out of ammo, Officer Marshall. That's right, partner. Or as you call it, evidence. If you plan to pin me this crime, then you better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me west into the sunset. Mm. One thing seems clear. You're fucking annoying. Shut up. <laughs> it's probably impossible for guard in the evidence room. Well, this doesn't appear to have it. I've seen anything. Or give a fucking shit about anything. Texas don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. <laughs> e even Texans. Apparently your spears don't. <laughs> okay, I have a trump card in my sleeve, so I best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I better up the ante. Yeah, alright, okay. <laughs> I was like, it may sound like I was supposed to wait. Officer Marshall, Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, that is, you being called in to testify like this. Hmm. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. It's quite simple, blah, blah, blah. You left a very large trail behind at that scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Huh. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. Objection! <laughs> Objection, motherfucker! Only what you were, officer. <laughs> well, you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Where next? What's the meaning of this? Tell me! You tell me you weren't eating spaghetti? Son of a bitch. Oh, you ever did the name spaghetti? No! The blood snake. <laughs> blood snake fingerprints were at the cr crime scene? Lumina was right away, however! A luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall. It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. Oh? Oh? I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall? About the blood stained fingerprints? Very well, you may be getting your testimony about your fingerprints. Found the scene of the crime! Better not fuck it up or I'm gonna lay them down my wrath on you. And your fucking cowboy head and your burly muscles. God, God, you're sexy. I hate you! Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the at that evidence room. One of them just happened to be in the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murder touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know that the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, you th- mm, Oh, I'm gonna actually- hmm, okay. There we go. Well, this explanation appears valid. Well, there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any pot doubt, partner. Dude, I- I really want to show him up. He's- I- I'm- I, I thought he was pretty cool first, but now he's just kind of pissing me off. I'm- kind of want to fucking rub this shit in his smug little face. I want to see him freak out and be like, <laughs> rip his hat off or something. Whatever his rage face is. Oh, oh, oh. That's now me. We're now cross examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. You're going down, Jake Marshall. And Edgeworth. Stop bringing me up all the time. If I answer something, I show my fingerprints to be in the evidence. Hold it there! That's because you, how do you put it, pay your respects for the month, once a month. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? As in, my fucking locker. I mean what I said. 
That's like I used when I was a detective. Like I still use. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. <laughs> Shut up. I see. It'd be strange if, if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprints data was never was never changed. He must have been using the fingerprint lock without even knowing it. Oh, cool. Okay, we got some something new information. Uh what okay, well, I'm just having to be at the same place as the blade is still here. So then, what about the bloody handprint? It wasn't mine, it's no mystery. Where's why? My locker is covered with my fingerprints. It just so happened. Okay. Murder touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. Hold in there, you little. The chances of that happening are, are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that, that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Unrelated. They're as different as night and day. Kind of like cereal and, and cereal. Oh my god. I might have had a bit of a hard time understanding that if it weren't written in a, a message box. One's well, got to do with breakfast while the other's a type of murder. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. I can see clearly now the bulls is gone. I can see all the uh, homonyms in my way. Is that, is that a homonym? I can't remember. <laughs> Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> shut up, Judge. <laughs> you shut up. He's right. All oh, seemingly, seemingly like totally different. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I was right. <laughs> Good. I remember what Hobnim was. I don't see what Hobnims have to do with this. <laughs> you show your face, Judge. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm kind of proud of myself for that. <laughs> I don't know. That's just like one of those words that I haven't used in ages, and I couldn't remember if that was exactly what it was. Well, didn't you know the woman was wearing gloves? Wait, how does he know? Wait, did he know that? How does he know that? How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I'm still doing my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a blood stain at the s at the scene, though it be thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh, yeah, I think we tried try that too. Oh, oh wait, the murderer wearing gloves. Having to place his hand on the top of Officer Marsh's fingerprint. That's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? This scene of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. Ugh. There's only one reality, and that's this. Security tape? So long as my, tra my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. So in case anyone was to write, get the fuck out of it. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Too bad it wasn't me in that video rap part. Oh, he added that He added that in there, didn't he? That wasn't there before. Hold it there! What do you mean by that? You want to time into this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so, that video is the only direct evidence you have. Objection, Objection you're... <laughs> you're a douchebag! <laughs> that may be so, but you can't prove that. You're well, actually, he's kind of proved it. He's kind of proved to all of us, honestly. Well, I remember you used to think you were really cool, but now you're just kind of a dick, aren't you? you shut your face. <laughs> I got a gun here. Wait, are you serious? You brought a loaded weapon in a car? I do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck off. <laughs> But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? What's that? Oh! <laughs> I don't have any blind spots. <laughs> Why, where am I? Places you can't see. The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't, floor isn't showing, and that fucking blue badger keeps getting in the way. Look at him ra waving his stupid little thing in front of everyone's face, conveniently censoring them. This convenient bullshit. If someone's familiar with the camera's position, he can leave the room without being caught on tape. That's, uh, that's true. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, please do so now. Oh, oh yeah, what's this? I haven't even looked at these yet. Files for the dark killings. All two years ago. Touch the check button. Uh, Criminal Joe Dark. Crime serial murder since death. 
victims. Edward Jones, Jason Knight, Edith Kirby, Rachel Moss, Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall. Ooh. Ooh, I bet that's gonna, that's gonna be, he's gonna be related to Jake Marshall, right? It's gotta be. And Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, witnesses Lena Sky and Emma Sky. Ah, there we go. Doesn't seem like it has anything to do with their family, so what? I guess they were just saw it? Oh, yeah, okay, it, no. Yeah, executive investigators Damon Gant, Lena Sky, vet head investigator Bruce Goodman, investigators Jake Marshall and Angel Starr. Although normally I think in a situation like this, if, if this, if I'm, I'm assuming this has probably got to be someone related to Marshall. I, I think in real life though, you would probably not have that person on the case because that's like, that's being too close to the case, you know? All right. I, I guess I, I gotta, I, 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 man, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I, I don't know what's in there. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. I don't want to have another look at that video. Show us the incriminating, incriminating evidence of the witness, Officer Jack Marshall. Dude. Dude, dude, Fucking song again. Dude, 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 Oh, oh, ho, I know it. It's there, right there. This thing was not there when it was. Oh, that is it. Look. Right? It wasn't sticking out. That's what that is. The the white coat is the 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 coat the guy was wearing. That's what's in the locker. That's what's sticking out. Oh yes, yes. I didn't even fucking notice that. Take oh, take this, you goddamn bastard. Bring your attention back to the security camera. It's a mistake. I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. You ding dong doodly. Days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. Exactly eight words. Not bad, partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. See this locker that has a white cloth sticking out? There's the witness's locker. Now then, let's rewind the. I feel like. I feel like that was probably Phoenix that said that. Why did you say I said that? I don't know. <laughs> now, let's rewind the video a bit. <laughs> oh, my cloth is gone. Ah, no. <laughs> What's me, this officer marshal? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Tell me now. Mm. Officer Marshall, you were the evidence from the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> Whoa, he, uh, damn it, he was, he, he, it cut me short there. Hold your horses. Sorry, partner, but you got the wrong man. Mm. So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. The murderer needed to hide something, so he opened the locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Except he needs your fucking fingerprints, dipshit. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Mmm. This guy's just plain dumb. He really doesn't know. <laughs> uh, hang around your stupid brain. But you're the only person who can open that particular locker. Oh yeah, I call you bluff. You say open the locker, now prove it. Alright, dumbass. Hmm, maybe this, I don't know, fingerprint locker. Hmm, hmm. Hey, hey, dummy. Uh, a fingerprint sensor? What the freaking... Oh, oh, yes. I s this is the moment I've been waiting for. Look at his weary face. Blah, blah. We talked about this earlier today. The locker's totally open by this detect the detectives they belong to. W what kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gumshoe did mention something about this. <laughs> In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. <laughs> There's even some people in the force that don't know, don't know about the fingerprint locks. <laughs> well, I didn't know that for like three years. <laughs> Can you believe it? Ah! Hmm. <laughs> so, Sheriff, what do you have to say in any words or less? 
Um, oh man, jerky. Ah! I only got one word for you. Fuck. <laughs> no! What? Oh! oh, that was awesome. You see, it was like, no! Ah! <laughs> uh, I. Damn it, I'm gonna have to look back. I actually kind of looked away for just two seconds when he did that face. He just. Because it keeps skipping the messages automatically. <laughs> Damn. <it. laughs> right, so I'm gonna have to watch that again, but uh, I, I saw you. I was really pissed, right? Or scared, something. Or, this is a joke. It's the worst I've ever heard. Uh, I assure you, this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Fucking beef jerk is so tough. So fucking tough. Ah! Ole! Ole! I'm a ball timer. Oh, isn't that cool? I got my little red cape here and everything. Get on, get the fuck on with it, you bastard. All right, fine, shut up, little bitch. Please answer the question. What is he now, a bullfighter? <laughs> hey, that's what I just said. It's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure out the, re the rest from here. We can? Really? I have plans. Have a look at these planned floor plans. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. You know, Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. That's so, and where was the witness? Where could he possibly be? I don't understand anything at all. Blah, blah, blah. Dipshit, it was right there. It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. The only possible conclusion. Well, what? Let's hear it. Where was Officer Marshall at the time of the, at the time of the crime? It was this one, I think, or so. It's the victim, right? Okay, so it's gotta be that one. Officer Marshall was standing right here. There, but that's... That's the victim Detective Goodman was! <laughs> Correct, unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is Officer Marshall! It was you dressed up like Detective Goodman. <laughs> but that's preposterous. Officer Me Officer Meekins, the witness the cro- De detective at the crime scene. Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. May I point out, though, that Officer Means did not did not know Detective Goodman. He was satisfied about the man's reaction when when confronted. When I entered the evidence room, I asked him to show his card, sir. <laughs> yes, how did Detective Goodman respond? He saw the bold half of it and he was like, <laughs> just like that. He was like, blah, blah, blah. something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man has ID card, why didn't he just show it? Yes, would have needed to answer the evidence room. So he must have been a crank. The answer is simple. You couldn't show it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no. No! <laughs> As you can see, David Goodman's picture is on this ID. Oh, I get it. <laughs> For sure, if he showed that, his cover would have been blue. Officer Meekins would have realized that the man... That the man wasn't a dead Goodman. You have anything to say to this Officer Marshall? God damn, this fucking piece of jerky. I can't bite it off. I can't bite off this dang, god dang, dong jerky. God dang. Ah. You got quite an imagination, partner. We got a tune for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial what now? He's still denying it, you little bastard. You're gonna have to do better than that to break a detective. Uh, okay, how about we just look in your fucking locker and see what that big white thing was? Mmm. <laughs> Unless you have a hard evidence proof not dressed up as the victim. Oh, I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative dis disposition. I can't say I care for your beer, but you don't see me complaining. You already complained about it, so technically you did. So shut your fucking face, dick, dickweed. My beer's awesome. Your beer's a stubby little piece of shit. All right, you're just like a little weenie beer. You pretend to be like you, you grow it and you think, oh wow, look at me, I'm growing facial hair. But no, all the ladies are like, look at that, look at that man over there with the big thick beard. It's a fucking lumberjack. God, I bet he's got a massive penis, too. God, look at that. Well, do you have a massive penis? You're damn right I do. I got a massive penis. Behold. <laughs> he, he, pulls, he pulls up his cloak. No, oh my God. Holy sweet mother of God. Put that thing away, man. <laughs> I stand corrected. You're damn right you do. That's right. I'm naked underneath this cloak. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to burn that in your mind for the rest of That's going to stay burning in your mind for the rest of your life, isn't it? Well, Mr. Wright, you have any evidence? Any evidence proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that Officer Marshall dressed up as that victim? 
Well, uh, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. <laughs> I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. How about the fact that, oh, how about the fact that you're freaking the fuck out over there? Chewing on a piece of jerky that you can't bite. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the des desert heat. Ah, this can't be happening. No! This bullshit happens all the time. So obviously he's the one, but what can I do? Hey, Mia, can you possess me for a second? Huh. Oh, wag my little finger at you. <laughs> it looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed. Huh? I'll pass on to you what someone told me when I was just starting out. When you run into a wall with no place to go, return to the basics. The basics? The hell is it with helping me again? For me, that would be what me used to tell me. Nick, try thinking outside the box. Try thinking the most random bananas horse shit you ever did, like that last case. Oh yeah, I did do that last time, didn't I? Damn right you did. Now look at my boobs more. Look at them. Oh, aren't they amazing? Oh my god, they are. Oh my god. I love how you wear your underwear on the outside. <laughs> I shouldn't look for proof that Arthur Marshall is in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that can came about because he was in disguise. What? Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? Oh, what do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet yeah, he did, despite the chance the chance it might be discovered later, as as it has been. The blood on the coat, right? He got cut, didn't he? Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. Or another defenseless argument. Officer Drake Marshall dressed up as Daniel coming at the time of the crime. After the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that he can open it in order to put the cloth inside. Oh, it's what happened. It's what exactly is this piece of cloth? Perhaps. Perhaps the video is the key to all our unanswered questions. I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. Yeah, it's gotta be the blood. I, I thought that it looked, like, suspicious the last time we looked at the video. I was like, I mean, there's a shit ton of fucking blood on that thing. <laughs> like, just like, it, it sort of just seemed like it, all of a sudden it's fucking there. Just like, a ton of blood. <laughs> it's like, one minute. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, you cut off a big chunk of my hand? Very right, well, second another look at that security tank. I've created the crime, I wouldn't show up in the locker and put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to open his locker. All right, cool. Do, 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 do. God damn it, I'm so sick of you, you fucking blue badger, new stupid dance. God damn it, gumshoe. Right there. Mm. For some reason, you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman. And enter the evidence room. I don't know what the reason was. Yet. Yet. However, something unexpected happened. I knew it. Officer Meekins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. Probably that knife you used to shave your own fucking face, you bastard. However... Officer Meekins panicked. And the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. Bloody white coat! You couldn't just walk out like that. So you hid the coat in your locker. Not bad, huh, partner? Oh, come on, are you gonna freak out or something? <laughs> now, I'm an Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. You're damn right you did, you little bastard. I hope you were happy now, eh, Mr. Edgeworth? <laughs> it was like, whatever, don't give a f don't give it two fucks. <laughs> Not even three fucks. Four fucks? Mmm, maybe, no, no. <laughs> two years ago, if you were only half as persistent than then as you are today, we all wouldn't have to be here now, would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what the hell you're talking about. What you, what you did, all of it. Alright, seems the time has come. My moment of glory. About fucking time. Alright. I had to do it that day. I just couldn't stand by and let, let it die. I saw and take his ID and dress like him. I plan to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. I knocked him out. And managed to escape. I knew which area wouldn't which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. 
Well, some power victims really you. But there's one thing I still don't understand. Large quantities of blood traces were found found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. Looks like too much blood for that. Seriously. How much of his hand did you cut off? I cut off I cut off three of his fingers. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm bleeding now, dude. The world's good. The world's getting dark. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Well, that explains why he's uh, unconscious in the <laughs> in the audience there. <laughs> Save me, dude. <laughs> oh god. Oh yeah, I guess we probably should do something about that. Oh, whatever. Nobody likes Meekins. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Poor Meekins. <laughs> Nobody loves Meekins. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna stay for this. I don't think so, Officer Marshall. Okay. I didn't do that day, I just couldn't let it stand by and let it die. Hold it there, you noodle. When you say when you say it, you mean. Do you even have to ask, partner? The ISO 9 incident. Two years have passed since the can that case was closed. It was going to completely end with a transfer that day. Not if I have it not if I have anything to do with it. That is it's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only the detective who was in charge of it can look through the evidence room. The evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one more time. No matter what the no matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. In that case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? Because the yeah, exact that is it. I knew it. It's because a freaking that one of the victims was probably like his brother or his son or something. That day was my last chance, that's why I... Stole the detective's ID and stressed like him and planned to take out the evidence. Hold it there! Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transfer, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to, you did it to fool the security camera. And take a side car. I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was why Goodman started filing out that lost item report. I returned his ID card. I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. Okay, well that that adds up. I mean that's that's where we found it. It's not really returning it. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean? Partner. I mean the fingerprint. Pr fingerprint activated the lock, of course. No matter how well you, no matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Normally that lock shouldn't have been o shouldn't have opened. So it opened because a rubber glove was stuck in the door by chance. The detective Goodman must must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. Hold it there. Got him. Pulled a knife on Officer Meekins. Tried to drive him off. Tried to drive him off. Let's just say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the evidence room for no no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. So I was like, what the fuck? Who's this little weenie shit? So I cut him up real good. Real good. Then I cooked him into bacon. I ate him. <laughs> I put him in my eggs and I ate him. Ah! I'm crazy! Ah! <laughs> Officer Meekins certainly is a one in a million type of person. God. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> Stick in and take it for an intruder and a bag to be shown as ID. I'll have to think a little more about its rays this year. <laughs> Come on, dude. Why? I'm the one who gets caught up, and why am I the one not getting the rays? What about this dude? Are you even going to arrest him? Oh, I think we'll let him off with a warning this time. No! <laughs> Fuck all of you. Uh, 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 don't worry. Don't worry, Beacons. You'll find love one day. Don't worry, after this trial, I'm sure Meekins will find himself a really awesome girlfriend. I'll take him back. Alright, it, it's gonna- it'll have a happy ending, don't worry. <laughs> just when everything- just when everything seems the darkest. It'll- then fucking awesome shit starts happening. He wins the lottery, becomes the most richest man in the world, and then fucking <laughs> destroys Edgeworth in his life. <laughs> it's payback. It's like the Count of Monte Cristo, dude! <laughs> we never get so much influence. Anyway, he threw himself at me, and I ended up cutting him slightly. And his fingers. Sorry, I'm sorry if I had to. It had to turn out that way with me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to the, your knife? 
Oh, you mean this one I'm using to cut my beard. I I'm cutting it with the blood of my victims. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, so what happened next? I fucking knew it was that knife. Managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught in the camera. Hold it there! So you did re your research beforehand. Those who will go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I don't... I didn't think it would make a difference, though. Security tape was erased every six hours. If all I had gone through... Had hung, all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However... You bloodied your coat and your struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in the security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. There was a fucking lot of blood on his coat, though. Seriously, like... <laughs> I don't know, like... Did he damage him? Like, I... Oh, my locker stashed, stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins do doing during that time? What else? He was sleeping on like a baby. <laughs> in hell. Oh, we're saying it's on that day. There wasn't any murder in the evidence from my 515. Hold it! But the blood found in the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you blind? What are you blind? The victim shown on that tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker? Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. Oh my god. What? Mr. Hour? Where's that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. So fuck if I know. <laughs> Dr. Goodman's locker is already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. Why? I, think it was good. I guess Goodman took it? Oh no, I bet it was whoever was in there before. Whoever 77777 was, right? Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away, partner. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to sign whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Stealing the devil's ID, injuring a police officer. This is no small offense. More, moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have a serious. These will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Uh, salary cuts are ever a valid solution. <laughs> like I said, this isn't your case. This one is mine. I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. Where is an unusual amount of zeal? Let's hear more. I can't just forget the SN9, so you know why? Hold it there! I probably have to show the... But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? That's the reason the evidence was stored in the, the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for those crimes. One thing I can say for sure, he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case and false serial murders, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out, but there's something that does still bothers me. Something went down at the trial, that trial. Something no one will talk about. Oh, what happened, Joe? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. I just so concerned with that incident. Maybe I should present it with what I think is real reason is. I had a feeling we'd wind up here sooner or later. Everyone involved in here is related in some way to that case. I better take another look at the files. Behold! Behold! Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been sipping too much cactus juice, partner. I have the SL9 incident file here. The name, Marshall, is mentioned in here. Uh, uh. In a list of murder victims. Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Neil Mar- Neil Marshall? Wait, shouldn't I know about this since I was fucking part of that ca- <laughs> Since I was a prosecuting attorney in that case? Yes, I'm sh I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. Oh! He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? Prosecutor? You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors Award. <laughs> oh, that fucking piece of shit. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. What's his relation to you? He was my brother. I knew it. I was guessing his brother or son. He looks just like me. Damn. He even, what is up with our family and the cowboys? Seriously, we have like, we love cowboys. 
He was investigating the murders of Damon Gann, chief detective at the time. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Whoa, is that Joe Dark? Damn, that guy looks fucking evil. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. And that was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. Shit. He was arraigned and incarcerated. Kate and the case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it. That's your reason for ins your insane actions. There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what the hell happened to the police department on the day of the crime. Sweet. Ugh, oh, seriously. Ugh. Oh, that feels good. Doesn't that feel good, guys? Just like, like, oh, that shit makes sense now. That shit was bugging me. Bugging me. I got a feeling Damon Gann had something to do with this, though. This seems to be, like, maybe I don't know. Was he the real vic, the real criminal here? I I don't I don't know. Set set him up or something. It, that that's what I'm sort of leaning towards. That was the last day the SL9 case was would be could be reopened. Not satisfied with this resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as a detective, and he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. Things that happen by chance never cease to never cease to amaze. Of course, it still doesn't change anything about Lana, really. So that, that, it's already closed up that one, but not really the other one. So it's like Edgeworth's still got <laughs> stole Edgeworth's ball here. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance, it's gotta be more than just that. Well, if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office, office parking lot was a real one. Which in turn means not only one person could have committed the crime. She prosecuted prosecutor Lana Sky. <laughs> but wait, the murder wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. Wait, doodle doodle non doodly second. Objection, shut the fuck up. Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But, oh uh, no. I shot myself in the foot, didn't I? There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. There yet remained the mystery of the simultaneous murders of the police department. It seems to me this boy's got the draw on you, partner. All the mysteries of the police department have been uncovered. No contradictions remain. The murder took place in the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Skye. There were no errors in the testimony of the witness, Angel Starr. If you have a response, make it one word or less. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, that's one word, I suppose. Oh, I bid you all adieu. I am the, I am the best. <laughs> suck my balls. Suck my balls. I rest my case. Even as trials reach its conclusion, there's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need my, to waste my time. Just proving the alleged murder at the police department. Ah, oh, Edgeworth, you goddamn... I thought he was helping me for a little bit, then I... Ah. Oh. Damn it, Edgeworth. Damn it, Edgeworth, you're still my arch nemesis. You're damn right I am, bitch. Slap you in the face with my penis. Watch out! There's no doubt. There's no doubt that what I proved today is true. Apparent murder on the scary cam camera's tape really was a fake. But I didn't realize that I would end up proving Lana guilty. Fuck. I don't know, time to the first right. Score finds defendant. Uh. <laughs> God, can people stop doing that? Stop saying hold it. <laughs> hold it! Your Honor, wait! Emma, what are you doing here? The defense has an objection, a scientific objection. Right! Well, what do you mean, right? <laughs> sure, whatever, I don't care anymore. That's right. Are you this girl's guardian? Your Honor, uh, uh, in a sense, no. Please, Your Honor, I'm all... All I'm asking is a minute for your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edward, please. <laughs> don't care. 
I, I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. I, I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. As you mentioned it, the names of the both Sky Sisters were in that file. That's when I figured it out. I mean, what officer, what officer Marsh was trying to do that day? So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. And that the left only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the traces of the blood found on Detective Gumsh Gumshoe's locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured figured if I examined it scientifically, I sure the fun clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. Uh, so did you find something? Nope. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> I knew it. Nope. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, I, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. You suck. N um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney with spiky hair and a sexy pink tie. But Mr. Wright, these, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them. Please, Mr. Wright. You're a professional. If anyone gets can save Lena, it's, Lena, it's you. Me? <laughs> Time's up, now, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident of the police department, is there any reasonable doubt for me? Um. It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around the around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, I can't be of more use. But still. If you can't find anything wrong with the blood mark, then Lana will be... Well, yeah, my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Hurry the fuck up. God. I gotta go make myself a new turkey sandwich. And have sex with me. Yes, Your Honor. I haven't needed the two concentrates now. Well, I mean, what... Who, what could be wrong with the handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? No, no problem at all. I mean, the problem is that it's... Where did it... Is where the fuck did it come from, you know? Right? I mean, we didn't we didn't see. Well, I guess there were blind spots, so technically, I guess he could have left it. But I mean, can we just ask Marshall where those blood, where the blood stains came from? Objection! Sam really to the crime scene. Clearly shows a contradiction. <laughs> the only thing that seems clear is your grasping, mis grasping, Mr. Wright. You were staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me. Is there a problem with them? Uh, yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something has to be drawn drawn on there? Well, yes. Something that, something that, something that when drawn, will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Oh, that's pretty offensive. Just simply trying to buy time. We're almost right. With all this evidence here. There's got to be something I can use. Yes, it is. Which I can prove something is missing on the floor plans. Which one? Caroline! Uh, 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 uh. The blue badger? Oh, okay. God dang. It took me so many tries to get. I don't understand. Why does the blue badger placement? What about that piece of plywood? Blue Badger, mascot of the police force, defender of truth, guardian of proof. <laughs> ah. Explain yourself, Mr. Ryan. Stop being a dipshit. Thank God I had an infinite number of tries on that last one. one. Please look at the floor plans of the crime scene. Blue Badger is not here. Uh, so? <laughs> so what which word happens when we put him in? Well, he, oh, he's in the way of the, the the handprint where, right? Is that it? This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Oh, he, oh, he's covering it up, so you 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 couldn't get around it without moving it. Ah, so the handprint that means the handprint came before the blue badger. Holy shit, that was weird. Will, well, what the fuck's happening? No, no, Brian, my testicles. That's right. So long as the ranching blue badger's there, it would be impossible. Don't place a handprint in this spot in the locker. What? 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 <laughs> like his cape is flowing in the wind like that. What? 
<laughs> That's more like a yeah, what? <laughs> well, that means I uh, just... Is that what does that mean? <laughs> okay, I mean it means it can't be done. What are you saying? Well, Trace Runner Drivers found that locker. Don't look at me, I didn't put it there. <laughs> Sir, I think we through scientifically. Oh, wait, how did I get up here? Whoa! Uh, where'd you come from? <laughs> Emma! <laughs> On that afternoon, Officer Mickens was the one who brought the blue badge into the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that would, must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. Brought in? Question mark? There's one moment. I will not allow such a far red balderdash in my, my courtroom. Balderdash! No balderdash! <laughs> balderdash indeed, Your Honor. It may sound far fetched, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, the police department's evidence room. Blood was not spilled, was spilled not once, but twice! But how? But how? Maybe if we ask who the fuck the 7777 person was. One time was captured on the tape, taken by the security camera. I was making his cut his hand from which a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time. Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. <gasps> oh my lord. That's ridiculous. I refute you. Refute it. Objection back at you. I refute your refusion. <laughs> Objection to that. I refute your refusion. My refusion. No objection. I refute your refusion. Shut the fuck up, both of you. God damn. I'm holding both of you in contempt for being stupid. <laughs> the murder betrayed in the security tape has been proven to be a fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found in the locker. So then, assuming this murder you per per perp really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that, that it proves it occurred. When did the first evidence occur? Or first it first occur? Is it a girl? Smiles and offense. Smiles and offense claims that prior to the officer Biggins being cut by Jack Marshall was disguised as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in that evidence for The blood mark on the locker proves this. Very well. Then tell us, when did this first incident occur? Where it must be presented? Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Well, it will first plead for this evidence. It's on the first time. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it was this. it's the ID thing here. If the crime took place inside the evidence room, then the perpetrator would have to be, have entered the room. In order to do so, an ID card is required. An ID card. Oh! Oh! <laughs> the ID card record! No! Oh! Arson begins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence room. Let's say, uh, 450. 450. 440. Oh, yeah, 450. <laughs> oh, you're right. The drug took a crime to place before that time, it would be. 440 bit. Ah! 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 Put off that act, witness. Stop. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> right, are you fucking kidding me? Really? We're gonna do this shit again. You realize there's another name on that list, right? Anybody? No, it was you, Edgeworth. Son of a bitch. What the hell, right? <laughs> you got me acquitted last trial just to get me... <laughs> get me such a deal with this one. You fucking suck. <laughs> I, I don't care anymore. Fuck you, Edgeworth. Oh, fuck you. This will take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Hmm. No, bye. I ain't getting it. I'm afraid I don't understand either. Ah, oh, I should have to be you. You're going to jail, Edward. Finally, you pay for the death of my darkest salmon. <laughs> darkest salmon. <laughs> God damn it. Shut up, Judge. It's clear from the luminol test that blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murder. I would have just, I would have, I would have had just 10 minutes to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically fucking impossible. So guess again. <laughs> oh, that would mean. Crime must have taken place before we started with into the evidence room. Let's take a look at the chart again. Hmm, could it possibly be this other number we think, we, I cannot believe we have not mentioned yet. So what are there a card number reading? Talk about a lucky number. My wait, that doesn't make sense. How could Officer Goodman have entered the evidence room? 
Since there's no record of his car being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murder. That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with the seven seven seven. Mr. Howard, what are you looking at us like that? I have the ID number seven 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 the ID number 777 belongs to someone with a rank of captain or higher. Oh shit. Uh, it is. It's gonna be fucking. It's gonna be fucking Demon Gant. And if it is, holy shit. <laughs> that is. That is just too fucking perfect if it is. <laughs> no way. You gotta be shitting me. The guy I gave the 77. The 7 boys has 777 as ID card. <laughs> that is just too fucking perfect. That is like a freaking miracle sent by. Sit down for baby Jesus. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I'm so evil! So brilliant! Ah! Many, many years ago, since the dawn of time, this moment was predetermined. <laughs> they knew I would be the voice of Damon Gant! Damon Gant! Actually, we don't know for sure if that's true yet, but, <laughs> but it's sure looking that way. Come on, who else is gonna be? Edward? Nah, little shit. <laughs> Look at that scrawny little shit. He can't murder anybody. Fuck you, I'll murder you. Bring it on, bitch. So, as a so called executive officer, we don't have the authority to inquire into such a person's identity. Objection? Are you fucking kidding me? But that's ridiculous! Just how? I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There's one situation in which we can be granted such authority. An official charge fi- An official charge filed against an executive is accepted. An official charge? You all like, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries? That's how the prosecutor off the prosecutor's office operates. You all fucking suck. You suck my monkey balls. My monkey balls! I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I appreciate if you would shut the fuck up. <laughs> Slander, is it? Okay, let me ask a question. Yes? No, not to you, to her. There's Venestidden over there. Your own little executive. Lana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course, she, we've, we've looked up her ID number, and it's not 777777777. Don't play me for a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. That's all I answer that? Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Oh wow, I didn't get up here. Huh. I just magically teleported up here. Do you need the witness to repeat his question, Chief Prosecutor? I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of the, the prosecution for the trial. And at the time, we... Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. Well! <laughs> Later, I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. You found it! It's what you say! What the doodle ding long doodle nugget you say! I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. Wait, how did... Why, are we keep switching places, or like... Uh, is there like another stand in this room? <laughs> I'll ask you again. Where are you right now? Are you like behind me and then I jump out of the way and then I jump back again? I don't know what's going on anymore. Nothing makes sense. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look at me, investigator, in that crime, in the eye and say that you did? Hey, prosecutor, you did? I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Oh, why don't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to, in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana, even if, if it involved forging evidence. Oh, my sweet mother of God. Holy shit, on a stick. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear any of that. I got a cowboy hat. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what would you say? See? S see, that's what I'm talking about. No. N no! Or, or, ah. Those remarks caused such a stir. Ten people were murdered that day. The chaos in the courtroom could not be quelled. The conclusion of the trial would have to wait until the following day. Snap, crackle, pop. It's a call to the world. To be continued. So is the next one the, uh... Is 
that like the the end, or do I have to go through another investigation? I hope it's just I hope it's the end, just because I don't know the, the investigations are never all that fun. Honestly, <laughs> the best parts of the trials. Um. Anyway, I don't know. It might end next episode. It might be two more. I'm not really sure. Um. But this is definitely picking up. That's that's awesome. I I I hadn't guessed that Marshall would have been the one that he had actually dressed up as him. I have a feeling Damon Gann is gonna be the one behind it. Just because we throw, honestly, we, we kind of run out of main characters, you know? It's, I mean, I don't think it's going to be Meekins all of a sudden, or Star, because we already had her on the stand. And, you know, Meekins is just too much of a ding-dong doodly unless he's hiding it. And I, it wouldn't make sense either, honestly. I mean, we, he's already got his ID card. It, it, it just wouldn't make sense. I think the only one that makes sense, since it is a high executive, is got to be Damon Gant. <laughs> Which is going to be awesome, because they're not going to do this badass voice in an evil way. I, I, I love talking like this. <laughs> Uh, too bad I'm not. Too bad I probably won't be a recurring character in that case. <laughs> I want to bring this voice back as much as possible. Ah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video, subscribe now. And hop aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny and the demons are always ganty and the sevens are always seventy. <laughs> None of that. He made any fucking sense. And he go, you show your face. You know, you show your face, seven. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna hey, fuck this. I'm taking over this fucking LP. Fuck this. <laughs> It's going to be seven all the way from here on. The man you know is Nico's dead. It's just me, seven. Ah! No! <laughs> you can't steal it from me. You can't steal my LP from me. I just did. Fuck up. Anyway, till next time, guys. Stay classy. <laughs>